What's up guys? This is Carter from Better Bolts, and in this video, we're gonna go over how to measure bolts. There's a few things that you'll need to measure bolts. Uh, some sort of measuring device. So here, I have a set of calipers. This is going to be the best and easiest way to measure your bolts. Here, we have a tape measure. You can also have a ruler. And if you don't have any of those items, you can go on our website and go to Bolt Measuring Guide and print out yourself one of these. You're gonna wanna set the scaling to 100%. That way it prints out at full scale and the measurements will actually be true to size. First, let's go over how bolts and bolt sizes are written. It's going to say M and then a number. This is going to be your diameter of the bolt shaft. It'll say M, a number, and then an X, which we read as by, and then a length, so 15 millimeters, 18 millimeters, something like that. So if it was an M5 by 18, it would read M5 X 18. So let's first go over what that M means and how we can get that number. So here I am gonna be holding a M6 bolt. And the reason that I know it's M6 is the diameter of this bolt shaft right here is going to measure six millimeters. 5.88 is close enough to six. It's best to round up to the nearest millimeter or half millimeter. You're really only gonna measure up to half millimeters when you're talking about something really, really small, something like 2.5 or smaller usually. So now that we know how to tell what the M is being six millimeters, or in this bolt's case, the diameter of the shaft being five millimeters, we now need to know how long this bolt is. So the length is gonna be done by the length of the bolt's shaft, or the shank. We do not need to know how long the head of the bolt is. So measuring a bolt like this is not going to give you a proper reading. What you'll want to do is measure just the shaft. So using these calipers and the depth gauge, I'm gonna put it on the shoulder of this bolt head and push all the way down till it tells me that this is a 20 millimeter long bolt. So if we were gonna write this one out, it would be M6 by 20 millimeters. So now that we know how to measure the M, and the length of the bolt, let's go over some bolt head styles. The first style we're gonna go over is tapered head bolts. So these are going to have a angular head um, that tapers up skinnier at the top. Next, we're going to have capped head bolts. These capped heads are going to be straight on the edges and flat across the top. While I'm on these two, it's important that we bring up that some bolts on our website are going to be called narrow head bolts. Narrow head means that they are a little bit smaller of a bolt head, usually for stems or a few other high tolerance areas where some bolt heads are socketed in. So it's important that you measure how thick your bolt head is and see if you might need a narrow head bolt. So in this case for M5, the diameter of our bolt head, this one is a narrow head, is going to measure 7.63. On a standard M5 bolt, something like this, you'll see that we measure 8.5. So it is a good idea to check whether or not you'll need a narrow head bolt if it looks like the sides of the bolt head may be close to contacting part of your stem or whatever it be. Now let's move on. We're gonna go to knurled head bolts, which is the same as a capped head bolt, but it will have this knurling on the side, these, these up and down lines. That's mostly a style choice, um, not very necessary. However, if you wanted to keep everything looking OEM, then we do have knurled head bolts. Next is gonna be a chamfered bolt, which is basically a mixture between tapered and capped head bolts. The edge first comes straight up and then comes across at the very top becoming skinny, tapered at the very top. Next is going to be a button head bolt. So a button head bolt is basically what it sounds like. It's just gonna be round across the top. 
And then lastly, we're gonna come to the countersunk bolt. Countersunk bolts are the only bolts that we measure a little bit differently. And that's because this countersink that they have on them is part of the clamping body. So we do need to know how long the entire bolt is. So with countersunk bolts, all you're gonna do is measure their actual length. So this one would be 30 millimeters. So once again, if we wanted to measure the entire name of this bolt, it's going to be six millimeters. So M6 by 30 millimeters. Quickly, we'll, bre we'll touch on thread pitch. Thread pitch is not something that you'll need to worry about too much on our website uh, because anything that's going to have a non-standard thread pitch is something that we would have called out for you on the website. So something like a bleed port bolt or a lever pivot, those have special thread pitches, but we've already put those on the website specifically as Shimano bleed port bolt or called it what it is. To measure thread pitch, you'll need one of two things, either a thread pitch gauge, or you'll need to print out this page from our website. A thread pitch gauge, you'll just find the thread pitch that you're going to check and fit it against the bolt and see if all the threads line up. So this being an M6 bolt, on standard, M6 bolts are 1.0 in thread pitch. So that's why this works. The other thing you could do is hold it up against this gauge and you can see that it lines up. Lastly, we're gonna to touch on caliper bolts. So now that we know how to measure bolts, we can measure our caliper bolts. If your calipers use these cup cone washers, like I have on this bolt here, it is important that you measure the length of your stock bolt without those washers. Because the measurement on the website is going to be without those washers. So this bolt here is going to be an M6 by 40. Brake bolts are usually M6, but you can always double check and measure that it is six millimeters. So M6 by 40. So then if you were to go to our website, you would order an M6 by 40 caliper bolt and it would come with these washers. If you have your brakes directly mounted, whether it be to a four bolt adapter or flat against the frame, most of the time you're going to want an M6 by 18 millimeter bolt. You can also use an M6 by 15. However, to get a little bit more thread engaging with your frame, you'll want an M6 by 18. And it is also good practice to pick up an M6 washer at that time. Thanks so much for joining us and we'll see you on the next one.